Welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have 9 to the power of x equals 18. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to take the log of both sides. So now we have log 9 to the power of x equals log 18. So if we have something in the form log a to the power of x, this is known as power property. And what it means is that we could actually move this exponent in front of the log, meaning this would also equal x log a. So I'm actually going to change log 9 to the power of x into x log 9. And this is equal to log 18. Now if I divide both sides by log 9, These two cancel out, and I'll get x is equal to log 18 over log 9 is the same thing as log 9 times 2 over log 9. And now if I distribute the log to both of these terms in the parentheses, get x is equal to log 9 times log 2. And we are still dividing this by log nine and sorry this is actually a plus so now this is equal to log nine over log nine plus log 2 over log 9. Now these two cancel out, so we get x is equal to 1 plus log 2 over log and I'm actually going to replace the 9 with 3 squared now remember we're going to use the same property that we used over here and I'm going to move the 2 to the front so I'm actually going to move it right over here So if you plug in log 2 into the calculator, log 2 is actually equal to approximately 0 0.301. And log 3 is equal to... 0 0.4771. So now if I plug in these numbers, we would get 1 plus log 2 is 0 0.301.
over 2 times log 3, well, that would be 0 0.9542. Now, if you divide these two, you'd get x is equal to 1 plus 0 0.3. One, five, four, and one plus this would be one point three one five four. So this is our answer. <laughs>Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have 1 to the power of x squared divided by 8 to the power of x is equal to 61. Now what I'm first going to do is I'm going to deal with this 1 to the power of x squared. Well, if you guys remember, 1 to the power of any number is equal to 1 meaning that one to the power of x squared is simply just equal to one. So this would be one over a to the power of x is equal to 61. Now, if I multiply both sides by a to the power of x, I get one is equal to 61 times a to the power of x. Now, if I divide both sides by 61, I get 1 over 61 is equal to, these two cancel out, a to the power of x. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the log of both sides. So now we have log of 1 over 61 is equal to a to the power of x. So now if I take the log both sides, and this, the, the power property of logarithms states that if we have something in the form log to the power of a to the power of x, we can actually move this exponent to the front of the log. So this is going to be equal to log 1 over 61 is equal to x times log 8. So now I'm going to divide both sides by log to the power of 8. Now, log 8, well, this is the same thing as log 2 to the power of 3. So, 2 to the power of 3. And remember, we can actually move this exponent to the front of the log. Remember, the power property of logarithms. So, now we have log 1 over 61 divided by 3 log 2. 
And if we're taking the log of a fraction, then this is the fraction can actually be the log of the numerator minus the log of the denominator. So this is equal to log one minus log 61 over three log two. Now, log one, this is equal to approximately zero. Log one is equal to zero. Log 61 this is equal to 1.7853 and 3 log 2 This is equal to 0 0.9031. So now if we plug in these values, we get 0 minus 1.7853, which is just negative 1.7853. Divided by... 0 0.9031 and this is equal to approximately negative 1.9769. So this is our answer.